Okay, so this is the, let me see if I can read it. See it here on the back. ESP32 2432S028. Okay, since that rolls off the tongue so well, it's better known as a cheap yellow display, a CYD. It is an ESP32 mounted on a um, three inch, that's a diagonal measurement, three inch um, LCD, TFT, whatever you want to call it, and a, um, see it's got the SD card there. And it's got a couple of uh, GPIOs um, available. Point is, um, you see how it's reading the bitmap off the um, SD card there. And so that's why it goes down, um, why the lines run down, or the picture goes down the way it does, because it's writing a line at a time as it goes down. Um, what I wanted to do and what I was successful at, oh, I never noticed the person in the background there. Anyway, that goat's called Yang Yang. Uh, so we thought it was cute. Um, anyway, um, what I wanted to do was make it where you could upload photos via the, um, Wi-Fi and I got that working, but it still freezes or rather it freezes, not still freezes. I haven't gotten past that point uh, once it fin completes upload. So I don't know what's happening after the, um, after it finishes, why it's not. I mean, it should be back in the loop. I have to um, maybe put some uh, debugging info in there to figure it out. But um, that's where I'm at on this project. I'm kind of bored with it right now and trying to decide if I want to keep working on it. Uh, now this one here, you see, this is actually an OLED um, color screen. And you see how it snaps, changes pictures right away. Well, instead of them being bitmaps, they are um, converted to a hexadecimal file. And so, and that there is an ESP32 uh, C3. And this display here has no chip select on it. So I cannot um, put another SPI device on there. Um, and so I can't put the um, SD card on there after messing with that thing. So all the pictures um, end up being in that uh, hexadecimal format. So, and they load like that. And I'm trying to remember, I think I, I don't know, I calculated and I didn't calculate right or something. I don't, I don't remember what were the maximum number. But the only way to get pictures on here is to actually load them through the, um, interface so uh, now that I said that this actually has Wi-Fi but they still have to be uploaded in the uh, .c I don't know I was looking at spiffs so that's another idea I might try that um, file system technique instead of uploading bitmaps Anyway, the project I was thinking about working on now is using Rust to convert um, images into the um, hexadecimal, which I have a Python that does it. See if I can convert it into Rust. Um, that's a, another thing. I, I, I built the Rust program that will convert the pictures. I don't know if you noticed which picture was it? Was it this one here? That I um, cut off. Yeah, you see how the people are cut off there? Because um, it doesn't center the picture. I think I had to work to get that one centered. 
and that one. So I'm not sure. I don't think these are resized images. I think that I manually did it in uh, paint to get them like that. No, this is the good one. It must be this here that I used uh, the Rust program to resize some of the pictures. And, but well, we're not going to sit here and wait on it. You can see the resolution there. Okay, and then I've got a Pico that is um, a RP2040. It's got an SD card on it. You can see there at the end. It's got the little SD card, but it has no Wi-Fi, so it can't be loaded like that. And it's running a, uh, I think I've got Python doing this on this machine. Some reason I like using Python on a little 2040s. Um, and you see it writes the same. At first I thought I wanted to try to make them double buffer or something in flash. I don't know if that is actually better when they flash, when they change just in a flash or if they write down. Uh, let's see, here's an example of a picture that I'm, I'm actually in the picture, but not in this picture. And again, the resizing program I was running didn't turn the picture. I don't know why. I can't remember where I was at. So anyway, that was too long of a video, so...